Okay, for this last section on selections, I'm showing you what's going to be a bit of a problem. I've been asked by the mother of this boy. He's got a nice tiger painted onto his face. She asked me whether I can get the hair to match the orange of the tiger, more kind of orangey hair. Oh dear, this is going to be difficult. Look, hair is always a very difficult thing to select. Take a look, I've got all these individual strands going on around here. And what's going to make this particular job especially difficult, look at the colour of the hair. It's a very similar colour to the wall in the background. This is going to be difficult. Alright, but there are things we can do. I'm going to come to the lasso tool. I'm going to make just a very rough selection of where the hair is. Now, remember, what I'm aiming to do is try and select just the hair and not the background. If I right click, I come down to something here called Refine Edge. This is a great tool. There are various different ways of looking at what you're dealing with. Marching ants, not much good. What's what you've already got? Overlay, that's looking a bit more useful. On black, that's definitely giving me something there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, see my little brush there, this round thing? I'm going to press Control plus Alt and right click to make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to start dragging down here. And what it's trying to do, let's come down on this side. It's making decisions on what it thinks I want masking out and what I want leaving in based upon the line I'm giving it. Now, so far, I'm asking it to do rather a lot. You see this area here, it's so similar in value. The wall is in such a similar value. The wall is so similar in color to the hair and similar in tone as well. I'm also asking it to define a large area here. So I'm going to cancel that for now. I'm going to deselect and I'm going to create a new duplicate layer. I want to up the contrast of this particular layer so that Photoshop has some clearer contrast to work with. So I'm going to come to Control plus M. I'm going to call up curves, good old curves. Now, there's the color of my hair around here. What about the color of the wall? That's more kind of around, just above the middle. I want to put a control point there. I'm going to take another point here and I'm going to drag this right up. I'm making a very extreme image. I don't care what it looks like. All I care about is how much contrast I'm getting along these edges. And I'm getting quite a bit of that there. I'm looking to get, ideally, I'm looking around this part. This is my critical area. I'm looking to get some of the detail of the hair, but losing some of this slight shadow on the wall there. I'll come to about there. Now, I want to draw out another ellipse. This time, I want to try and help Photoshop again. And I come around. I want to come in and I want to start shaving off bits of my mask. So I press down Alt and hold it to minus certain areas. Around there. Up here. Let's see anywhere else around here. That's, I'm not going to have much of a problem around here. Let's try just a little bit down here as well. Get rid of some of that slightly troublesome air. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Now, I could right click and refine edge, or I can come to the top and refine edge, or I can come to select and refine edge. Okay, let's... On black gave a real acid test there. So now things are closer. I'm going to make my brush size smaller. Now I'm going to come down. See if that makes a difference. Yes, it does. Look at that. I've given Photoshop more to work with, so it can give me a slightly better job. Now, it's still not perfect, but we can do stuff about that. Down here. It's still standing a little bit. Like here, we're getting that slight fringing going on around this bit here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to 
See where it says Shift Edge? If I pull that towards the left, it contracts my selection a little bit. And if I pull up the contrast, I'm getting a more clear either it is or it isn't effect there. It's like the opposite of feather. Instead of getting a slightly blurred edge, it's getting a slightly sharper edge. It's getting a bit difficult to see with these slightly black areas here. Let's try another selection. Let's try overlay. Let's try on white. Yeah, I'm getting a clear idea there now. OK, I am going to go with that. Now I can click on OK and I've got my selection there. Or I can do what? What would I like? I can do that as a new layer. I could do that as a new layer with layer mask. I could do a number of different things. But for now, I'm just going to go to selection. I am going to get rid of that layer. And I'm going to duplicate. So I've got a new fresh layer to work with. And now with that selection, I am going to come down to here and I am going to create a layer mask. There it is there. If I press Alt, there's my layer mask. Now, the good thing about layer masks as well is that you can refine them. We've done this before. But for now, I want to come to my actual layer itself, and I'm going to press Control plus U. We'll see what we can do here. Ooh, we're getting some weird stuff going on here now. Blue hair, anybody fancy? That's looking more orange. Look at the saturation, so it's very definitely orange. And click on OK for that. Now, Player invisible, normal hair, more orange hair. Now, but you can see if I come back and press Alt and click on my layer mask again, still got some two rough bits around here. Well, if you remember, with the layer mask, I come to my paintbrush, D for default color. So now I've got black loaded on here. I'm making a hot, whoops, just made the classic mistake that you often do with a layer mask. Press Ctrl plus Z. I draw on the layer instead of the layer mask. So come over to my layer mask, click on the thumbnail, and then we'll start drawing again. OK, that will get rid of it. If I press X to swap my colours, so now I'm painting with white, I can add to my layer mask. Or take away. Let's start to take away some of these more orangey bits around there so the skin color is coming through what it originally was. I'm moving fast because well don't you get him too bored but I can come in I can refine this layer mask as much as I like and in that way I've just taken hair which is a really really difficult thing to do I selected it using Refine Edge, and I can make all kinds of fine adjustments to it. So, without, with. Refine Edge hasn't been in Photoshop forever. It's, I forget when it was, was it CS4 or CS5? I can't really remember when it was introduced, but when it came along, designers all over the world went, Hallelujah, rejoice! Refine Edge is here. OK. Original. Thank you, Refine Edge. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes Store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance-along-with-me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time. Bye.